In this video, we're going to make some changes to the PCB enclosure housing to allow for adequate ventilation. The fastest way to create several duplicates of an item is by using the pattern tool. Let's start with creating a series of holes in one face of the model. Go to the view arc in the bottom left corner of the window. Click the views button and then the back view. The model should automatically reorient in the window to look at the back face of the enclosure. If we refer to sheet 3 of the technical drawing in the view labeled section L-L, we can see the dimensions for the placement of the first hole in the pattern. The placement of the first instance in a pattern is the one that's most important. Create a sketch on the back face of the enclosure housing. Start the circle tool and create a circle with the center point 10 millimeters from either the left or the right edge of the face and 10 millimeters down from the top. Make the diameter 10 millimeters, then start the pull tool. Pull the circular profile in the opposite direction of the yellow arrow to cut a hole. Press S on the keyboard to exit the pull tool. Select the surface on the inside of the hole and start the fill pattern tool. Press F1 to access the help and visualize the effect of the different pattern styles. Press F1 again to exit the help. In the options panel on the right side of the HUD, set the pattern type to offset and make sure that the hole is selected as the object to pattern. Set the X spacing to 4.5 millimeters, the Y spacing to 5 millimeters, and the margin to 5 millimeters as well. Click the top edge of the housing as the direction reference, then click the green check mark to complete the pattern. Many larger consumer electronics generate quite a bit of heat, so some type of cooling solution is often required. Most of the time, this cooling is accomplished by adding some fans to help circulate air over the electronic components. In order to add fans to this design, we need to create a location where the fans can be placed. Examine the isometric view on sheet 3 of the technical drawing. The dimensions for these holes can be found in the view labeled section F-F. Rotate the model to the front view by clicking on the green Y axis in the view arc. Create a sketch on the front planar face by selecting it and pressing K. Place a circle with center point negative 45 millimeters from the left edge and 47.5 millimeters from the top edge. Set the diameter to 70 millimeters. Sketch another circle 13.5 millimeters from the top edge and negative 11 millimeters from the left edge. Set this diameter to 5 millimeters. Create another 70 millimeter circle, but this time use the same dimensions to offset it from the right edge instead of the left. Do the same for the small 5 millimeter circle. Start the pull tool and cut all four holes out of the enclosure housing wall. Remember to hold control to select multiple items. Use the query select function to select one of the small 5mm holes. Hold control while rolling the wheel. Once the hole is highlighted, click to select it and then click the circular pattern tool. Click the edge of the 70 millimeter hole to define the center axis as the axis to pattern about. Make sure that the circular count is set to four and keep the angle set to 360 degrees so the four holes are spaced evenly. Click the green check mark to complete the pattern. Repeat these steps for the other fan holes. We should now have the two 70 millimeter holes for the fans and eight five millimeter holes where the fans will be mounted. Save the model. 